And hello everyone, welcome back to James' Minecraft channel. This is day 31, episode 31 of my single player let's play diary playthrough, whatever you want to call it. This is day 31. We are technically a month into it. Actually, I think we're, well obviously we're more than a month because I didn't do every day this month, but day 31, 31st day, that's basically a month. So yeah, we've been going quite well. We've, going, we've been going strong, we've got a lot done. Obviously there's a lot we haven't got done, but that is to look forward to. Now I just want to talk about a near miss that I had just before I started this episode. Uh, basically what happened was I was caving away in the north there at a cave that I'd been previously at, but I uh, hadn't finished it so I went back to it and I got a lot of good stuff, as you can see here. Lots of uh, iron Lapis, redstone, it was redstone that I was mainly going after, and mainly iron as well, but I got diamonds, lapis, emeralds, gold, the lot, so it was a very, very good haul, really happy with it. However, things got a bit hairy at one point, because basically I uh, spoke with my parents over Skype, that was fine, I spoke and caved at the same time. Yes, I'm sad, but you would too. <laughs> um, so that was good, and then... I was I finished speaking to them, hung up. That was fine. I started what, listening to music. What I didn't know was my sounds was, in Minecraft was lower than I originally thought, and so basically what happened was I was mining some coal, and all of a sudden I died, and it, the message came up: James the Douglas was blown up by creeper. Uh, and the thing was though, I was miles and miles away. I had didn't have my coordinates up. Normally I have my coordinates up all the time so I can see the like exact coordinates of where I died. But and by the way, this was late in the cave trip, so I had all that stuff on me basically. Uh <coughs> excuse me, so that was that was very, very tense. But this is an example of why it is good to cave a lot. This is what Minecraft does for you. Minecraft gives you a sense of direction. You see I've played Minecraft now for almost three years and over those three years I've done lots and lots and lots of caving and basically what it's given me is and the ability to ga gain a sense of direction of a cave even though maybe I've only been in, in the cave for you know a few minutes or a few hours you know I might not have like lived there it's like not my home but I've gained a sense of direction in the cave as if I know it, as if I've been there for years. And I can still to this day remember caves that I've been in in the past. Like years ago in other worlds I can still remember caves that I've been into. Um, although usually something is because something significant happened in them, but whatever. So yeah, if you're playing Survival Minecraft I would highly recommend caving regularly. And from that you can gain a good sense of direction, you can gain good uh, anticipation of where to go because I had to go through many, that was one of the most craziest cave systems I've ever been in. There was ravines at every turn, there was huge lava rooms, there was huge lava pools, there was drops, it had everything basically. Like, you know how you sometimes get like a ravine connected with another ravine? I had like three of those and I, I had a triple ravine and everything, it was just crazy. So yeah, that's, that's my story got a power bow, which is good. Put that away. Actually, we might be able to fix it up. Let's do that right now. That costs three, that costs six. So we now got ourselves a power bow. And now you might be saying, why am I still eating rotten flesh? The answer to that is, I did have bread. I made a stack of bread. However, I used it all during the caving trip and therefore I have none left. So yeah, that's the reason why. However, we are getting a lot of cows. So things will be going well with that. Oh geez, very loud. Let's breed these cows. So what I want to do today is I want to work on the sorting system down by the mob farm. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get the entire room finished but I just want to get the sorting system done at the very least just so that it's got something working there. This chicken farm is very slow. I don't remember it being that slow. Maybe it's just quicker on a server because more people are on normally. Um, 
See, I'm just going to go down and show you what it's like at the minute. So my aim is to do a hopper, uh, automated hopper sorting system kind of thing. Uh, that's why I went after the iron, so I could make hoppers, because you need an absolute ton of them. I also need to go and get some quartz from the nether, um, because you need quartz to make uh, comparators. Basically, this is what I've got done. Dug out this massive room here, mostly with a stone pick. Uh, there should be too much stuff in here. Oh, what? There's tons of stuff in there. I emptied it earlier today. Looks like we've got ourselves an amazing mob farm, at least. Okay. Well, that's unexpected. And we're going to join up the slime farm system thing with this as well, so... Uh, that will be good, hopefully. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to go get resources, get things together, and we will get started. Hey, uh, check out this. I, just after I got that power 1 boy, then killed another skeleton with an enchanted bow. Turned out to be power 2. So, I <laughs> got a quick upgrade from my uh, original bow that I got. Uh, Alright, so, the situation currently is we've got the mob system working, we've got the slime farm working. I have actually hooked the slime farm hoppers up with the uh, mob system hoppers, although as you can see it's taking its time filling up, but that is fine. We don't need them filled up completely yet. <coughs> Excuse me. We are just going to get started now with the sorting system. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to run a line of hoppers down here. It's going to go all the way to the end and then go across here. And it's going to be on this side that the chests will be. Now this room is not the current going, to be going to be the size of the room because as you can see it is far too big. The reason we've got a room this size is because I want enough sp uh, as much space as possible to work with. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Um, I think this should work if we do it like that. Yeah. So immediately we should get... Yeah, okay. That is good. Das is good. Das ist gut, I should say. It's been years since I worked in my German. Uh, right. Well, we. I don't think we're going to go all the way to this end, but we are going to... Oh wait, I can't join these up. So I'm trying to remember. I've I've not actually looked. I should probably have looked at the plan first. Uh, let's see. We'll give it five. Five behind maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Five behind. Four. I see four. Alright, actually we, it doesn't face that way, it faces uh, this way. Like so. Not sure what miscellaneouses we'll have in this, but I might have a chest at the end that's not, like, gonna have sorted items in it, basically. Uh, may as well just leave them like that. Now, um... I think what you do after that is you have I'm just going to put some blood this is just for temporary measures so we're gonna, how many chests was it again? oh I've forgotten I should have written all this down before I started alright so we need 12 chests for all the drops that will come into the system uh, I'm not sure if I should do 13. I mean, I'm not sure what miscellaneous items we could end up getting, so I'll just do 12. reason we're doing 12 is because witch drops as well. I want to sort them, even though... See, I'm not sure if it's worth sorting witch drops. It might be, but then again, it might not be. We'll just have to see. Uh, so yeah, let's start it somewhere around... Yeah, here will be fine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, darn it. Eleven. And then we'll grab these blocks. Should we do it like that? Oh, no, we don't need to do it there. We do it there. Twelve. Okay, there we go. Now, 
we need to get some more blocks in our bar. Oh, not stone, because that's not it. Uh, I won't be able to get it back if I use that. <coughs> Excuse me, so I'll have to use uh, that. Now apparently the hoppers have to be facing a different way. I'm doing this, I watched the tutorial this morning. But I have not watched it since this morning, so I'm not entirely sure if... Oh, are we going to have enough? I think we're going to have enough, just... Uh oh, don't need that one. Alright, few got enough, just... Uh, I think that's all the hoppers we're going to need. Um, alright, now we need chests. Got some already. We're going to need more chests, but this will do for, this, for a start. Oh, actually, we're going to need more hoppers now. Oh, and we're going to need to make some of them uh, trapped chests, which I guess I'll work on in a minute. I mean, obviously we can't stick that one there. This will do for the moment though. And the plan is to have... Um, like, other chests to help. That's why that made no sense. We're going to have other chests down below here to continue the... Actually, we don't need to put that there. To save space and to make... And for looks, we should do this. So that... Uh, no. Yeah, that. Then put another one down. So yeah, if we put an item in here. Should end up down there. And then gradually these will fill up. So I think, I think that'll look cool. Um, of course we now need to do the wiring. There we go. There's probably many people that could do this much better than me, but whatever. Let's get that there. We need, I'm pretty sure we need a torch. Then we need a repeater. Like that. And we need redstone. It looks like we need redstone up there as well. Nailed it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's how you do the wiring, I'm pretty sure. Uh, right, give me a minute. I'm going to go. I'm going to get all the chests. Sorry for the crummy episode. Sorry for the bad mistakes. But I'm going to go get all the chests in position. I'm going to get all the redstone in position. And then we'll move on from there. All right. Uh, almost finished. I'm just going to walk you through the last part. Uh, just apologies for my mic quality. Uh, I actually had a f funny incident today. I was playing Micro Wars with Jack and uh, Dolmo, and my mic broke. <laughs> and I've only been using it, like, f for a month, basically, since I got back up to college. So that was a bit gutting. So I went out and bought exactly the same from PC World, just a few, well, about 45 minutes before it shut. And, yeah, so this is the mic I've got. I did buy a Jack mic, because the one I've got is a USB, but I, I, I did buy a Jack mic just in case, um, just in case it was better, I've not tried it yet, so that'll be another thing for another time. So yeah, to make the, uh, to make the sorting system work we've got to tell, program the hoppers to be able to tell the items that flow along this pipe, we need to be able to tell them what items what, and my goodness this is laggy as heck. This is why I don't play about with hoppers much. Oh, it's back to the good old days of 5 frames per second. Uh, right, what's in this one? We've got uh, redstone in this one. Nope. Oh man, I've completely lagged out. Thought I was going to crash there. So redstone's in that one, so it'll be glowstone then in this one. Uh, and then glass bottles in this one, and that should be it, right? 
that should be it. Now, I found out that in these hoppers here, items get stuck because of the the this thing. What do you call it? The light redstone torches. However, shouldn't be much of an issue. In fact, I think that could be the point. So let's join up the piping. We've got all our stuff there. Let's just join up the piping and watch our frames die. See if how well this works, shall we? Look, mm, I think it will. This is the assets test. Right, we should be getting a lot of slimes, so I'll label them later. We'll decorate the room later. Oh no. Freeze. 57. Yeah, okay, so we're, that's working. That's good. Uh, what about uh, gunpowder, which is this one? Not in gunpowder yet, but that's fine. That definitely is gunpowder. Got a few in uh, rotten flesh. Next one up is bones. Next one up is arrows. So I'm going to take half. Gunpowder. String. Okay, so we've got all the drops here. This is the sorting system that we finally got finished. Unfortunately, it is very laggy. If this proves to be too much lag, I will get rid of it again, just like I did with the pyramid. Um, and we'll just go for a manual sorting system, which isn't as fun, but, you know, whatever. I um, don't think there's anything I can do. I've got every single setting at minimum. Or maximum, depending on which one is... Depending on which one is necessary, but either way, this is what we've got done. We've got an automated sorting system for our mob system. Uh, we'll work on the room uh, at a later date. We'll work on dec decorating the room at a later date. But uh, right now, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. Sorry if it's been a bit crummy. Sorry for the microphone quality. I'll try and improve it, but I can't promise anything. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.